we always like to say that an educated student is a good student, a student who takes the time to prepare and knows what what to expect, um, to know the, the procedures and steps, but also to know the, the why we do an exercise. Uh, there's a lot of value in, in making sure you're mentally ready. Some people call it chair flying, where you sit and you practice the procedures before you fly. Uh, those are very valuable. Um, and uh, flying often. I know that flying is expensive, but so is forgetting. And forgetting is a real enemy of students. So the more you fly, the more you remind yourself, the less likely you're, you are to, re, to forget between time. But if there's long gaps, it's, it's three steps forward and two back. It's very hard to make progress. Um, and putting, putting your lifestyle around flying, I think, is important. You know, eating right, sleeping right, those obvious kind of things. Uh, the more you know, you, you engage, you know, spend time at the airport. Uh, sit in the airplane before you go flying. Sit in the airplane and and do the procedures and exercises. Uh, visualize before you go. You know, take a look at the windsock and ask yourself, what am I going to expect today, and how am I going to change? Uh, take notes. Um, to keep 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 track of what went well and especially what didn't go well and have a plan to fix up what didn't go well. Uh, enjoy the experience, you know. Like it's, it's, uh, the flight training is a unique time in a pilot's career when, when you have more say of when and where you fly. So do interesting things, fly to a variety of places, do a variety of things. You'll be a better pilot. Sounds a lot like uh, it's really good to be a proactive pilot rather than a reactive pilot trying to whether it's in the air or on the ground, you want to make sure you're preparing for stuff ahead of time. Yes, there, there's so many resources today, basically the internet and YouTube. I mean, uh, you have to be a little careful listening to it, but uh, the more you can engage your mind and get into the zone, the better you're going to be. Spacing your training time too far apart is really detrimental. I was doing it every, once every three weeks or four weeks because that's all I could afford back when I was working on the ramp. Right. And uh, I'd forget stuff. I'd have to go back and review and in, in retrospect, you know, you spend more money going back and reviewing stuff you've forgotten than you would have had you just stuck to it and set a, a good schedule. And, I, and maybe even talking to you, how often do you think is a good amount of time to fly per week? And uh, like what can a student expect schedule-wise for that kind of thing? Well, I, I mean, I, I would say for every, for every hour that you're flying, you probably should be spending at least double that, say two hours uh, studying and preparing for the flight. Um, I mean, I, I get it. Life is in the way. It is as expensive. You have to money. You have family commitments. You have uh, work commitments. So there's, there's always compromises. In an ideal world, you would move away and live like a monk and eat, sleep, and breathe flying. But, you know, I can say, like, when we have part-time students and they're flying, say, three times a week, the progress is being made. Definitely the steps are very positive. And so I think a regular pacing is maybe the most, one of the most important things, in addition to flying lots, is to have a, a steady pacing can be very helpful. A lot, we're limited by weather, especially when you're new to aviation. You know, you're sensitive to everything. And so, on the one hand, you want to fly in ideal conditions. On the other hand, you want to fly in different conditions so you can learn to deal with it. But basing your, if it's possible, basing your schedule around the weather can be very very helpful, you know. Do you, do you, uh, the weather forecast would be good in the morning? Then, then by all means try to don't don't fight it by trying to wedge it into your schedule. Sometimes you do have to work with the weather you got.